Okay, we got a pop-up that just said run. <laughs> Here we go. The town, the town is gone. I'm pretty sure. Our parents, also gone. And... Yeah, this is, this is bad. We have the sword that we, we apparently need to keep for now. And we need to get out of here and warn another place. Uh, I have to flee and warn the others. I have to get a hold of a horse. So here we go. And the place that we're trying to get to is Talmberg. To warn people there in case they face a similar fate. So let's go. I don't know if I have anybody behind me. Whoa. Where's that coming from? Breathe, breathe, breathe. Oh, man. Okay. Horse riding. Trot is the horse's basic pace. Walk, give your horse a chance to recover. Uh, left shift, canter, ideally combines a faster pace with the horse's endurance. Double left shift, gallop is the fastest gait, but will soon deplete your horse's stamina. And then if you just hold left shift, your horse is smarter than some people and will stick to the path you're on if you give it... If you give him his head, uh, just begin cantering and don't steer him. Uh, this is your horse's stamina indicator. The green bar it will deplete when galloping. If you try to push your horse when his stamina is low, it may throw you. Galloping can be exhausting and can deplete your stamina too, especially if you're not an experienced horseman. Well, there is somebody coming, actually. What's this? Whoa! You can call your horse at any time by whistling, but your whistle will also be heard by people within earshot, which sometimes can be a disadvantage, while on the other hand, it can be a way of detracting attention. Gentlemen! Oh! Oh, my horse! Okay! Let's go! <laughs> Jeez! I hope she got away. My god. Wow. Wow. Okay, that was a lot to take in in, like, two seconds. Jeez. Let's motor here. Full gallop. Did we do I think we've done it. Whoa. That was hectic. No. This is not the knee. Could be worse. Oh, we're not out of it yet. The wound must be bandaged, which Hendry hasn't let yet learned to do. You have to quickly get to help, get to someone who can help you. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna follow the path. Come on. Well, now we're getting chased too. Halberg is to the left along the stream. Let's go. I wonder if this is like a permanent horse that we're gonna have, or... Okay, he needs to breathe. Holy, okay. Come on, quick. Breathe, 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 breathe. Warn the others. They tore it scallops. Well, that's gonna have to do. We're slowly dying. So we have to learn to bandage ourselves. I'm pretty sure we picked one up in our box from the house at the very beginning. That's ominous. Warn the others. They tore it scallops. Okay, I don't know, man. I, are we going to outrun these guys? They'll kill you all. Our horse is going to be exhausted in a second here. I'm just following the path. Oh my god. How are we gonna swing this? Oh no. Okay, breathe, 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 breathe. Come on, buddy, you can do it. Yeah, let's motor. Jeez. So they can't hit us when we're going quick, but when we slow down, they can. Come on, oh, please. We need help. 
This is not too far away. Like, these guys, they're going to be next. Someone give him a drink and bring hot wine and bandages. Tell me, boy, who are you, and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground. Slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning. And, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tartars? I'm, I'm assuming they had to be Sigmund. Tartars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. I, I don't know. This is gonna hurt. Get your teeth, boy. I'm gonna pull that hair out. Oh. Yeah. Yep, darkness. Easy. All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? There you go. Good as new. <laughs> yeah, we're fine. We're doing great. If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage? <laughs> Thankfully, they trust us and took us in. Sir, this is a survivor from- I heard, Robart. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the insides of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? So, um, I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a, a strange language. They burned Scalitz to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. There we go. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scalos is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. You think we're next in line? Maybe. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. 
Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. Wow, so even though it was short for us, this must be some distance because... Otherwise, preparations would be pretty much non-existent. Okay. We're kind of healing. That's good. Discovered your bed. A baker. My god. What about the miller? Has he paid his debt? Not entirely, oh. sir. He brought just over half yesterday. People don't like it if you go That's where you're not supposed to. If you enter their houses, well, they'll just warn move, you at first. But if you you're caught in the castle guardhouse, for example, you risk immediate arrest. Word with him. I'll do that, sir. I'll knock the dust out of his apron. The scoundrel. <laughs> oh. I have to eat something. My insides are shriveled up with the hunger. There? Okay, so uh, we need to talk to Sir Robard. Uh, I told Sir Davish about the terrible fate of Scalitz after a briefing with his captain, Sir Robard. He decided it would be futile to go to Sir Radzig's aid, and instead they would prepare Talmberg Castle in case Sigismund should descend on them too. And then he told his captain to take charge of me. Okay, we are in a bit of hurt here. You've done well, lad. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be all done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good today. meal? Sorrow is easier to bear on a full stomach. That would be great. I heard about your father. They say he was a swordsmith who moved to the countryside to make horses. I can't understand why he'd waste his talents, but I'm poor. He had a fine reputation. It's a great loss. Maybe we'll learn more about him from uh, from this guy. Now I wonder, we have this marigold decoction. Dispel hangover effects. Okay, we're not hungover, I don't think. I don't know if we're still drunk from that thing in the bottom left, but uh... I have to eat something. My insides are shriveled up with the hunger. Do we have anything to eat? I mean, not really. This is alcohol. Let's uh, let's grab something, maybe. Here we go. Ah, milady. You are fortunate. Our good lady Stephanie of Talmberg has graced us with her presence. My lady, I'm honored. So this is our brave young man. Welcome, lad. Bojana here will take care of you. No doubt you're tired and hungry. <laughs> Indeed. It's an understatement. How could he not be, poor soul? After everything he's been through, he must be as hungry as a bear. Aren't you, young master? Here you are, then. Eat your fill. And a little wine to wash it down. Thank you, my lady. <clears throat> when you're done, you can go and rest with the grooms in the outer bailey. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly, my lady. <laughs> Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Oh, yes, yes, thank you, my lady. May God reward you for your kindness. Eat up now. You're in capable hands, so I'll leave you to it. Good night. Good night. Good night, ma'am. Respect. When you've done, you can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. And don't forget to take off those filthy boots before getting into bed. <laughs> okay. Thanks. I think. This is going to be the best tasting meal I've ever had, regardless of what it is. 
It's not wise to ignore hunger. The longer Henry doesn't eat, the weaker he gets. If he fasts long enough, he can even die. Different foods have different properties. Like an apple won't fill you up like a roast duck, but it will stay fresh for longer. Some foods can be more effective for healing as well. Lentil mash. Bread rolls. We can we just we can't just eat them directly, I guess. I don't know that we need wine. I'm gonna take all of this for now. Or at least a good variety. We're like having trouble breathing here. Look at our stamina. We don't need to go through their stuff. Thank you. All right, let's eat. Roast duck. Done. Oh, you can see something's happening up here, tiredness. The gold, I think, indicates more tiredness, right? We can keep an apple. I'll see, when we ate that, it went down. Interesting. So, oh, this, some of them give positive energy and some of them... Interesting. So lentil mash would give energy, whereas cheese takes away. And I imagine the duck took away quite a bit too, but that's okay because we have a place that we're going to go sleep. Whoa, we are like passing out. <sighs> All right, let's go to the bed. I don't think we're going to get much else accomplished if we don't. Oh, that's crazy. Like, if we're tired, we're going to be actually useless. Hope this is the right... Nope. I don't think so. <laughs> she probably shouldn't be running. Gee, heavy eyes. Oh. If you are tired, your stamina and eloquence will also gradually decrease. Sleep is the solution. Find an available bed, which you'll recognize from the icon on the compass. Sit on it, launch sleep, and set how long you want to sleep for. Is forever an option? Please tell me what happened at Scarlet's. I have kin there. Oh, okay. I guess. It was awful. Ooh. We don't know anything about the villager. I think we could maybe use, like, the nobility Sigismund came with his army. We're just being honest with them. I don't know what impact this might have on the guy. It was a fine sunny day until Sigismund came with his army. I saw him sitting there with his red beard and proud posture as he gave the signal to attack. Oh no. Nice. Oh, so when we get a positive one, we can actually see the outcome. I didn't make it inside the castle. I ran to the castle for shelter. With There's goodness. a timer on that one. Behind me, I could hear the shouts of the attackers and the screams of the wounded. Then I turned and saw father trying to save mother. They... they were both killed. The gate was closed by then. The men on the battlements were calling to me to run and warn you here. And with God's help I made it. That's horrible. You were very fortunate to survive. And God bless you for warning us. I'll pray for you, lad. Thanks, mate, but I think I gotta sleep. Thank you. All right. So, how long do you want to sleep? One hour, it'll tell you comfort, nourishment, energy. We pretty much need to get all of our energy up. So, there's no sense in sleeping any less than that. Cool. 
Uh, I really like all the, like, intricacies that we're running into. Today the patrols will be doubled. Keep your eyes peeled. If you see anything out of the ordinary, report it immediately. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes? It is I, Henry. Forgive the intrusion. I didn't wake you, boy, did I? Uh, my lady, uh, um, no. She's no, like, not at all. Really kind. But what brings you here at this hour? I thought you could do with a little wine. Really? It's just what you need to help you sleep. My lady, um, thank you. You really shouldn't. You could have sent a servant. I was going to, but to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have been for you. I came to offer you solace, to let you know you're not alone. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Now, Henry, I know this is all very new uh... and strange for you. But I want you to feel at home here. You're not to worry about anything except getting better. God knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. I know what it is to be left alone in the world. Although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. And it can help to talk about it. If you feel like it. I mean, I think she's being really kind. I don't have a real reason to like not trust her here, but you might be right, my lady. I'll tell you what happened. It was terrible and unexpected. The day started just like any other. Father sent me into town on some errands. It's sad that we have to just keep like reminding her of the same thing. Um Let's tell I her about went to Bianca. The to buy ale for father. I know it's a job for a groom, but I didn't mind, because my girl Bianca worked there. I courted her a while and we agreed to meet in the evening, but our meeting was never to happen. Oh dear boy. Oh. When I'd done all the errands, I don't know I how you would home. fail this kind of thing. I promised but... father I'd help him with his work and I was looking forward to it. He was forging a sword for Sir Radzik. Okay. The sword was taking shape when Sir Radzik himself came to have a look at it. He praised Father's work and said that with his smithing skills, he could easily make a living in Prague or Vienna. You don't say. But Sigismund's horde was already on the horizon, ready to attack the town. So I think situationally, this stuff isn't really... Like, we can't really fail. As long as we're just being honest. A horde of soldiers was amassed. Pennants flapped in the wind. The armor glinted in the sunlight and the horses whinnied impatiently. They were waiting for Sigismund to give the command to attack. How awful. And then death descended on Scalitz. It killed our everybody. Father told me to take shelter in the castle while he went to get mother. She was stranded in the town, surrounded by Sigismund's butchers. And then I saw him knocking down one cumin after another. And never saw him fight like that. But then the leader <laughs> of Sigismund's raiding party, a knight in full armor, saw Father and charged at him. But then the leader of Sigismund's raiding party, a knight in full armor, saw Father and charged at him. He cut down my father without a thought. And then he turned on my mother. And he murdered her in cold blood. You poor boy. May the Lord have mercy on their souls. I ran to the castle like our neighbours to take cover, but I didn't make it. I had to find another way to save myself. 
The men on the battlements called down to me to flee to Talmberg and warn you. I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. Seriously. We need we needed to get a horse to have a I chance. I needed a horse to get to the safety of Talmberg and to warn you all. And with all that was happening, you thought of others like a good Christian. Then I heard a scream. It was mostly panic. It was Teresa, the mill wench. She'd been caught by a gang of cumin savages who planned to violate her. I had Sir Radzik's sword, and even though there were several of them and they were better armed, I had to try and save her. I wanted there to be at least one person I'd helped. And I succeeded, even though it almost cost me my life. <laughs> After that, I stole a horse from them and rode off. Like a valiant knight. We left out the part that all we did was whistle. <laughs> it's tough. It will haunt me for the rest of my life. That's terrible. How could something like that happen? God alone knows why he lets such things happen. Oh, you poor boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by greed, envy, and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. Fate has not been merciful to me and my husband either. Although in comparison to the horrors you went through. I was young when I married my husband. It was my father's wish. Divish was a lot older than I, but a woman must bear her lot. Shortly after our marriage, before I even got a look at Talmberg, the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned. Really? My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Probislavitz, and killed many of our men, even the old chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. That's awful. I was barely 18 years old and all of a sudden I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king and sought help from Divish's friends, but all to no avail. We tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Years, you say? Seven years. Jeez. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then, he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. Stubborn guy. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom. And only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more. Seven years. Seven years. <laughs> and was Harville punished for it? Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. Wow. Sir Divish seems like a good, strong man. Well, certainly. Only he has many concerns. He had to rebuild Talmberg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. He had no time for me at all. But at least we were in the city, and there was something going on. And now, we're here. My lady, you're still young and beautiful. Your best years are still ahead of you. <laughs> Would that that were true, lad. Would it were true. But what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles enough of your own. I'll go. Seems like she's been holding Let that in sleep. for quite some time. Just needed an ear. I enjoyed our little talk, Henry. Good night, and God bless. Good night, my lady.
the nightmares. Can you imagine what that would feel like? Oh my god. That is not at all what happened. No! Oh, we're gonna blame ourselves. Henry, wake up. You don't want to miss this. What is it? What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Skelets. Holy moly. Go to the Madelands. Okay. So, guys, I think we're going to wrap it up here. Um, I'll try to aim to keep these around 30 minutes or so. And uh, we'll cut it at, like, natural points like this, hopefully. Might be some cliffhangers, I'm not going to lie. But uh, so far, this has been really cool. Like, the word I would use to describe how this has been so far is, like, cinematic, almost. Not at all what I was expecting. And I'm really hoping that it continues like this. Because this is exceptional. And I'm having a super time. I really hope you guys are as well. And, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to pump these out pretty regularly over the next little while here. So, uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. And, uh, as I said, we'll try to keep them to around this amount of time, depending on what's happening in the story. So, we'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye. <laughs>